Imagine walking through a lush forest, the air thick with the scent of damp earth, when suddenly, you see it. A small, fuzzy caterpillar perched on a leaf, looking completely harmless. But what if I told you that this tiny creature is more dangerous than some of the deadliest snakes on the planet? Today, we're diving into the world of the five most venomous caterpillars you should never touch. These creatures may look innocent, but a single brush against their spines can unleash excruciating pain, paralysis, and even death. So stay tuned, because by the end of this video, you'll think twice before ever touching a caterpillar again. Deep in the rainforests of South America lurks one of the deadliest caterpillars on Earth, the Lonomia obliqua, also known as the giant silkworm moth caterpillar. At first glance, it looks like a harmless piece of moss, perfectly camouflaged against tree bark. But don't let its disguise fool you. Hidden within its bristle-covered body are thousands of microscopic venomous spines that can pierce human skin with the lightest touch. Unlike a snakebite that delivers venom in one strike, this caterpillar's spines work collectively, injecting small amounts of toxin every time they break the skin. The real danger isn't just the sting, it's what happens inside the body once the venom starts spreading. What makes Lonomia obliqua so terrifying is its unique venom, which contains powerful anticoagulants. This means that once it enters your bloodstream, it prevents your blood from clotting. Instead of healing, even minor wounds or bruises can turn into life-threatening internal bleeding. Victims often experience headaches, nausea, and intense pain at the sting site before the real danger begins. In severe cases, the venom can lead to massive internal hemorrhaging, causing organ failure, and ultimately, death. This is why Lonomia obliqua is considered one of the few caterpillars capable of killing a human being. One of the scariest aspects of Lonomia obliqua is how easily people come into contact with it. Since it blends so well into tree trunks, people often lean against trees without realizing they're pressing against a swarm of these venomous creatures. The sting might feel like a minor itch at first, leading many victims to ignore it, until the bleeding begins. By the time symptoms escalate, it can be too late to stop the internal damage. In regions where these caterpillars are common, entire families have been hospitalized after unknowingly brushing against infested trees. Medical experts warn that there is no immediate antidote for Lonomia obliqua envenomation. Treatment usually involves blood transfusions and plasma replacement therapy to counteract the effects of the venom. However, survival depends largely on how quickly a person receives medical attention. In Brazil, where cases are most common, researchers have developed an antivenom, but it is not widely available. This means that for many victims, a single touch from this caterpillar can become a race against time to save their lives. If you ever find yourself exploring the rainforests of South America, remember this, never lean against a tree without checking first. What looks like simple bark could be crawling with these silent killers, waiting for an unsuspecting victim. The Lonomia obliqua proves that sometimes, the deadliest creatures aren't the biggest or the fastest, they're the ones you never see coming. Meet the Megalopige opercularis, also known as the Puss Caterpillar or the Toxic Furball from Hell. Found in the United States, this fluffy-looking caterpillar resembles a tiny Persian cat, with its soft, woolly appearance. But don't be fooled, beneath this innocent disguise lies one of the most venomous caterpillars in North America. Its body is covered in dense fur-like bristles, but hidden within these fibers are thousands of venomous spines. The moment they come into contact with human skin, they break off and inject a powerful toxin that can cause unbearable pain, swelling, and even systemic reactions. The pain from a puss caterpillar sting is described as being far worse than a wasp sting or even a broken bone. Victims report a burning sensation that radiates from the point of contact, spreading rapidly across their limbs and sometimes into their chest and back. The pain can last for hours or even days, often accompanied by severe headaches, nausea, and difficulty breathing. Some victims have even mistaken the symptoms for a heart attack due to the intensity of the chest pain. What makes it even more terrifying is that the spines are so small that many people don't even realize they've been stung, until the pain kicks in. One of the biggest dangers of the puss caterpillar is how easily people come into contact with it. These caterpillars are commonly found in oak, elm, and citrus trees, especially in the southeastern United States. Their soft appearance makes them particularly deceptive, as people, especially children, often try to pick them up, thinking they are harmless. Even worse, these caterpillars sometimes drop from trees onto people's shoulders, embedding their venomous spines into the skin without warning. A simple brush against one can lead to a full-blown medical emergency. Unlike some venomous creatures that deliver their toxins in a single sting, the puss caterpillar's venomous hairs continue to inject poison even after they've broken off into the skin. This means that victims may experience waves of pain long after the initial contact. Doctors often have to use adhesive tape to pull the embedded spines out of the skin, 
followed by anti-inflammatory medications to reduce swelling. In extreme cases, hospitalization is required, especially if a person experiences an allergic reaction or severe respiratory distress. If you live in or visit areas where these caterpillars are common, always be cautious around trees and shrubs, especially during the fall, when puss caterpillar populations peak. Never touch a caterpillar that looks fluffy or soft, because what appears to be a cute, harmless creature could be a living nightmare in disguise. If you ever see a small, bright green caterpillar with a brown spot in the middle, turn around and walk away. This is the Acaria stimulia, better known as the saddleback caterpillar. Its neon green body and distinctive brown saddle may look fascinating, but these colors serve as nature's warning sign, do not touch. While it may be small, this caterpillar is one of the most painful stingers in the insect world. Its body is covered in venomous spines that can easily pierce human skin, injecting a potent toxin that causes an immediate burning sensation. Unlike some caterpillars whose venom affects only the local sting area, the saddleback caterpillar's toxin can cause a full-body reaction. Victims report severe pain that radiates throughout their limbs, often accompanied by intense headaches, dizziness, and nausea. The spines are so sharp that they break off inside the skin, making the pain last even longer. Some people have compared the experience to being stung by multiple wasps at once, with the pain lingering for several days. What makes this caterpillar particularly dangerous is how common it is in backyards, gardens, and wooded areas across the eastern United States. Many people accidentally come into contact with it while gardening, pruning bushes, or even picking fruit. The caterpillar's small size makes it easy to miss, and because it often clings to the underside of leaves, people may not even see it before brushing against it. A single touch can result in hours of suffering and, in some cases, an emergency room visit. The effects of the sting can vary depending on the person's sensitivity to the venom. Some individuals experience only localized pain and swelling, while others develop full-body reactions, including fever, chills, and muscle cramps. In extreme cases, the venom can trigger severe allergic reactions, requiring immediate medical attention. Doctors usually recommend removing the venomous spines with adhesive tape and treating the sting with ice packs and antihistamines. However, if the symptoms worsen, hospitalization may be necessary. If you spend time outdoors in areas where saddleback caterpillars are common, be extra cautious when handling plants and foliage. Always wear gloves when gardening or hiking through dense vegetation. And remember, if something is brightly colored in nature, it's often a sign that you should stay far away. Next up, we have the Lophocampa carii, or the hickory tussock moth caterpillar, a striking black and white creature commonly found in North America. While it may not be as venomous as the previous caterpillars, it poses a unique threat, severe allergic reactions. Unlike other venomous species that inject toxins through spines, this caterpillar's defense mechanism comes from its urticating hairs, which release irritating chemicals upon contact. The moment these tiny hairs touch human skin, they embed themselves like microscopic needles, causing intense itching, redness, and swelling. Many victims describe the sensation as worse than a mosquito bite, with the irritation lasting for days. In some cases, the reaction can spread beyond the contact area, creating large, painful rashes. Because the hairs are so small, they can also become airborne, leading to respiratory irritation if inhaled. Children and individuals with sensitive skin are particularly at risk. Some people develop severe allergic reactions that include blistering, eye irritation, and difficulty breathing. If the hairs make contact with the eyes, they can cause temporary blindness and extreme discomfort. This makes the hickory tussock moth caterpillar especially dangerous in suburban areas where people frequently come into contact with them while playing outdoors or doing yard work. One of the biggest problems with this caterpillar is how easy it is to encounter. It is commonly found on hickory, walnut, and oak trees, and its striking appearance often attracts curiosity. Unlike brightly colored caterpillars that serve as clear warning signs, its black and white pattern may not seem as threatening, leading people, especially children, to pick them up. However, even the slightest touch can trigger a painful reaction. If you find one of these caterpillars, never attempt to handle it. If you experience a reaction after accidental contact, remove the hairs using adhesive tape and wash the affected area thoroughly with soap and water. Over-the-counter antihistamines and hydrocortisone cream can help reduce itching, but if symptoms become severe, seek medical attention immediately. If there is one caterpillar on this list that truly deserves the title of walking death trap, it's the Acaria gracella, commonly known as the assassin caterpillar. Found primarily in the rainforests of Central and South America, this seemingly ordinary creature has one of the deadliest venoms in the insect world. 
Unlike other venomous caterpillars that rely on camouflage or warning colors, the assassin caterpillar looks deceptively normal, making it even more dangerous. People often mistake it for a harmless garden caterpillar, only to experience unbearable pain and severe medical complications moments after touching it. The venom of the assassin caterpillar contains a potent mix of neurotoxins and anticoagulants, which attack the nervous system while preventing blood from clotting. Victims experience an immediate burning sensation that spreads throughout the body, followed by dizziness, nausea, and extreme muscle pain. Within hours, internal bleeding can begin, leading to dark bruises, swelling, and, in severe cases, organ failure. Some victims have reported feeling as if their skin is being ripped apart from the inside, an indication of the venom's destructive power. What makes this caterpillar especially terrifying is that it can cause hemorrhagic syndrome, a condition where the body starts bleeding uncontrollably. Unlike a snake or spider bite, where venom is injected in a single spot, the assassin caterpillar's venomous spines can break off into the skin, releasing toxins continuously. If multiple caterpillars come into contact with a person, the effects can be catastrophic, sometimes resulting in death. There have been documented cases where people suffered fatal internal bleeding after accidentally brushing against a cluster of these caterpillars. Despite its lethal nature, the assassin caterpillar remains relatively unknown outside of scientific communities. Researchers studying its venom have discovered that it affects the body in ways similar to certain hemorrhagic fevers, like Ebola. This has led to medical interest in developing treatments based on its venom. However, for now, the only way to survive an encounter with this caterpillar is immediate medical attention. Antivenoms are being developed in some South American countries, but access remains limited, making prevention the best defense. If you ever find yourself in the rainforests of South or Central America, be extremely cautious when touching tree trunks, leaves, or even the ground. The assassin caterpillar blends perfectly with its surroundings, making it nearly impossible to spot until it's too late. Remember, sometimes, the most dangerous creatures are the ones you don't see coming. And there you have it, the five most venomous caterpillars in the world that you should never touch. These tiny creatures may not look like much, but their venom can rival that of some of the deadliest snakes and spiders. Whether you're in the rainforests of South America, the backyards of the United States, or deep in the wilds of Central America, always be cautious when encountering caterpillars. What looks like a harmless little insect could be hiding a deadly secret. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more jaw-dropping facts about nature's most dangerous creatures. Let us know in the comments, have you ever seen or touched a venomous caterpillar? Share your experiences, and remember, in the world of nature, danger often comes in the smallest packages.